In this video, I will show you exactly how to craft the best prompts and get the results you want by using the secret formula. The formula consists of subject, medium, style, composition, color, and lightning. The subject is the description you use to explain to the AI what specifically you want to see in the generation. The more details you use in this description, the more accurate the final result will be. For example, let's say I want to create a picture of a lion. First, I will imagine exactly how I want the picture to look like, and then I will come right here and type. Create a lion with a beautiful black mane that sits besides a tree and rests. The sun is high up at the sky and exerts a lot heat in the savanna. Also make sure alchemy and photoreal are turned on for better and more realistic results. Now let's go to the second part of the formula, which is the medium. The medium is basically the texture of our generation, like a digital drawing, oil painting, acrylic paint, and others. Now I will go back to the prompt bar, and for the medium, I will type digital drawing. Then we have the style, which is the artistic way Leonardo AI will create our generation. If we go right here and click, this drop-down menu appears where we can select the style we want, but this option is only available if you have alchemy on. If you don't, you simply type the style you want in the prompt bar like we did with everything else. So I will type realistic and dynamic. Also remember that you can use multiple styles in one generation. Then there is composition, which is the arrangement of your elements in your generation. For example, I will type lion is sitting beneath the tree and the sun is in the upper right corner of the screen. And at the end, we have colors and lightning where we specify the colors and lightning we want for our image. I will type bright, vibrant, and alive colors and bright lightning with shadows under the tree. Leonardo AI also has a very useful feature, which is the negative prompt. But if you want to use it, you need to turn photo reel off. And then you can use it by coming right here and clicking on enable. Then this box will appear where you can type everything you don't want to see in your generation. For example, I will type river and crocodiles. And now we simply come right here and click on generate. And boom, look at these images. They are exactly what we prompted the AI to do. You can see the lion sitting under the tree with the sun in the sky, and each one is a different variation so you can pick the one that you like the most. Look at these amazing colors. They are exactly as we wanted. Personally, I like this fourth picture the most. Now some common questions and mistakes. Does the order of the sentences matter? The answer is yes. The order in which you write your prompt influences the final result of your generation because the earlier prompts are given more focus on the final result than those typed towards the end. For example, let's say I come to the prompt bar and type, create a dark knight riding his horse at the beach while a very big rainstorm is going on. And I click on generate. As you can see, the focus of the generations is mainly in the dark knight and his horse, and the big storm comes secondary in the background. Especially when we open the images, we can see the warrior with his horse being the focus of the image and the storm just simply being visible in the background without much emphasis. The same thing happens in this image as well. But if I come back to the prompt bar, and this time I type a very big and dangerous storm with thunder strikes in the sky while a dark knight rides his horse at the beach, and I click on Generate. Look at the emphasis of the storm compared to the warrior in these images. If we open the first one, we can see that the storm is the main focus of the image, and the warrior, while still visible, has a secondary role. Exactly the same happens here. The storm dominates the generation, while the warrior again comes second. So the rule is the things you want to be more focused on should be written first. Everything written after becomes likewise second or third priority in the generation. But what happens if you don't want or forget to mention a very specific part of your image? Then you leave it up to the AI's imagination, which always takes into account the context of the characters and the overall picture, and usually gives a pretty good and accurate end result. For example, let's say I go to the prompt bar and type, create a young man that is sitting on his desk and is reading a book. And don't mention anything about the background of the image or anything else in that matter and click on generate. As you can see, the images that I did get back have a background that shows this man is inside a room and not in the savanna or in the jungle next to wild animals. That happens because the AI understood the context of the picture and placed the man inside a room because it's the logical place for him to be. Now, what are some common mistakes people make in their generation? A very common mistake, believe it or not, 
is when your prompts are contradicting each other. For example, if I type, create an old man with a beard that sits in a chair, looking in the night sky and is clean shaven, I have contradicted my previous prompt, which will confuse the AI and won't give me the result I want. So make sure your prompts are logical and don't contradict each other. Don't forget to like and comment, and if you want to learn how to let the AI create all the prompts for you, click on this video right here.